Hello guys, this is Andre here. In last episode we have created a very simple k-means algorithm in JavaScript and in this episode we're gonna do something fun with it. We're gonna create a visual representation of this algorithm. But before we do this, let's actually uh, do something else. Uh, some of you reported the bug in my original implementation. Um, and someone actually created the bug on the GitHub repository as well. So when I was computing the centroids of the clusters, you see, I didn't correctly assign the the last coordinate of the of the centroid. So it's definitely my fault, and my test didn't catch the bug. So this person was very nice actually, and he submitted the the fix for this bug, and uh, including the test fix. Uh, let's go ahead and just quickly see. So we changed the z-coordinate, updated the test. Looks very nice. Let's go ahead and merge this pull request. All right. Thank you very much. Good. Now that we have the test and the code submitted and merged, Let's update the local repository. Very well. Verify that this is working. Now wait. I didn't update my package JSON. So let's change this to tab. Now all tests are passing. Let's commit this. Uh, very well. So let's do something visual now. So we're going to create a simple HTML page which renders um, the image and finds all the colors, clusters the colors together. So currently this folder is empty. This is just basic, uh, basic setup. Now let's see, we will need an image tag here. Uh, let's get image from somewhere first. I really like works of this artist, so let's find something from here. I don't know. Let's use this. the image here. So now we're gonna we're gonna render this image into the canvas. So let's lay out the algorithm first. Five clusters and pass the points. We need to get points from somewhere. So let's let's create this image with ID. Now let's just iterate over the. Um, over the k-means algorithm and see what are the clusters. Once this is done, we want to render the point somewhere. So to do that, let's do So this is high level overview of our approach. We're gonna get points from an image and then we will feed those points to the k-means algorithm and we're gonna expect five clusters then we will just iterate over the uh, k-means algorithm here once the 
algorithm converges, we're gonna get all the clusters and render each clusters on the page. Right? This looks good so far. Now let's implement the, the functions. So to get the points from image, we're gonna copy the image to the canvas and then extract the color the colors from the canvas. So we're gonna need this width and height to actually know the buffer size. So let's go ahead and check what is the what's the dimensions of this image. gonna just throw image to the top left of the canvas. Now once this is done let's extract the points. Uh, so we're gonna need the data. If I remember the syntax correctly, we will need to check this. So, all right. So each point has uh, four coordinates, uh, red, green, blue, and um, alpha. So we're going to iterate over each element of the point and just each element of the source data and then just copy it to the, to the points collection. All right. Now to render the clusters, let's implement this method. Actually, before we do that, let, let's quickly check if this, this code is working. To do that, uh, you see my index.html includes bundle.js and uh, we only have index.js here. Let's actually um, browserify index.js into the bundle.js. There you go, we have bundle.js, let's check here. Uh, Typer. All right, so something is working. We have an exception here, though. Uh, let's see. Did we get points? Oh, we we have points, which means I'm probably the API was correct. All right, so uh, but looks like the algorithm is throwing the exception saying there is not enough uh, unique data points. Um, my guess is that because we are using uh, we are including this script right here without even expecting the image to load. So probably browser has not yet loaded the image and we need to give it some time to, to load the image. So let's let's slightly change our function to start execution only after the browser uh, finishes loading the image. So this is ugly, uh, I understand, but this is just for uh, for development purposes, for the experimentation. The reason why you don't want to use this is basically you don't want to overwrite someone else's code and this is not very well accepted practice. 
All right, now we have a different error saying that get image data cannot access canvas render in context. Uh, this means that we are trying to access cross DOM and you see I'm serving this file from the file system. Uh, let's actually uh, fix that. So we can basically start very simple uh, Python server on the port 9, 9002 and instead of accessing it there, let's access it here. All right, now we have no errors. Let's go ahead and implement the the render cluster method. So I want to have the, the square size for the canvas and to do that I'm just taking the square root of the points length and then I'm assigning just, just the square size to the canvas. Uh, now let's uh, get the points of this canvas to, to render on them. Again, we multiply by 4 because uh, we have alpha channel, so we, we want to have RGB, but keep in mind that alpha is also there. Now this is done, we are sending colors back to the canvas, let's, let's actually render this data back on the canvas. Alright, let's see if this works. doesn't but we have an error here on the page oh it expects three arguments but I only passed one let's see I believe it's the offset I'm appending to the document. Oh, correct. So I mentioned that we have an alpha channel, so um, I forgot to actually include it here, right? So let's do it. There you go, much better. So you see the image is categorized in five uh, sets. Oh no, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, five. Um, yeah, looks good. Let, let's actually change the background uh, or maybe try a different image. I like this one. Let's check the width and height. All right, very nice. We have five clusters. Let's check the change the background of this page so you can easily see them. Nice, nice. We can also change the number of clusters here. 
let's say instead of five, let's do three. Very well, you can see how the k-means groups all the colors into their own group. And yeah, that, that's basically it. Let, let's go ahead and commit this code, right? Alright, once this is done, um, let's go ahead and push this code to the upstream repository. Very well. Uh, I really like to share this code on the GitHub pages so that everyone online can access it as well. Uh, let's push this to the GitHub pages branch as well. Uh, let's check if it's accessible on the GitHub now. loading done so yeah thank you very much guys for watching this video please let me know if I can improve this video in any ways I appreciate your feedback very much and yeah thank you very much have a nice day